Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we are currently invading Kocho here. We are, of course, the Mongol Empire now, and so we are doing a Mongol invasion. Now we're currently truced to this gentleman, but we'll clean up the rest of the Kyrgyz Khanate soon enough. So we are raising up our troops over here, and let's see just how much resistance this guy puts up. I don't expect a whole lot of resistance, if I'm honest. So that should be fine. Now I do want to check over here. Yeah, we can't get a lot of these upgraded yet because we don't have city planning as the Mongols. We will soon enough. We do have a Chancellor slot open, and this guy will do the trick. This is enough. And this is more than enough. So we're going to start walking in. These guys are heading over here. We'll see where they go when we hop up in this mountain tile. Let's see. It's impassable down here. So they're going this way or this way? They're going this way. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to split off our onagers and our mangonels. Because those exist. It's a little odd that we were given mangonels, right? That's a little weird. But that'll be fine. And we'll send along with them some special levy units. That'll be more than enough. And we'll send them to go siege. Well, this force comes over this way. Now, we will take a lot of casualties going up that way. Maybe we should just chill. Hmm. I'd like to avoid attrition casualties. Because we have no way of replenishing our special soldiers, right? So that's a thing. We're going to go ahead and grab Thoughtful here because I want to move down to flexible truces as quick as possible. Honestly, I'm going to send these guys back home. We don't need all these. This will be enough. So we're going to put them down so that we don't take attrition. And that should be just fine. Will they arrive before this siege ends? Well, we'll find out. Apparently they can be disbanded here, but we'll let them walk back to our territory. Now, it will take 18 months to return home. That's fine. We'll allow it. So we're going to proceed over this way. We're at 56% war score right now, and I'm going to go ahead and bump up to speed 4, just because it takes a while to walk around in these mountains, and we don't have that much going on. Now, we could declare another war on Alatau, although our armies are raised, so we can't do it right now. But that is probably our next target. There's also Naiman Gobi over here, which would be another good target. Just open up more fronts would be the idea here. Our heir is currently unmarried, and we'll just fix that. That's fine. And we're going to head on over here next. We're at 78% war score here, so that's going very well, actually. We're not quite going to get enough from occupying here, sadly. Man, those supplies are insane with those special soldiers. They just don't take attrition, ever. That's nutty. And of course we siege very quickly with all of these siege weapons. Just walk down over to here. And that will net us all the war score that we need. Or we could return up here. Fight them or come over here. I suppose that would work. Either way is fine. We should move quite quickly here. Well, quickly enough anyway. But yeah, I think we're going to go for Alatau next. Once again, open us up a few additional locations over there. We have no stress at this time. That's not shocking. And we'll wipe this force out, no problem. This will end the war. And then we'll look for another war. And honestly, against Alatau, we're probably not going to need very many troops there either. Okay, so there we go. War is done. And we're going to need to structure this realm, of course. So we've got ourselves, what, four here? Five. 
Okay. We'll grant this off to this gentleman. And just each of these will get somebody who's the correct religion and culture. And hopefully, they'll work on spreading that. But we'll see. We are, of course, focused on expanding quickly right now, as the Mongol Empire is wont to do. So we will go ahead and attack Alatau as soon as we can. We'll disband those armies, declare the war. Mongol invasion of kingdom. Now, this is just Angara. That's slightly awkward. This will open more fronts, though. So that's what we'll do. We'll do the Kingdom of Ob. It will create some awkward locations back here that we'll have to clean up later, but that should be fine. We're going to go ahead and raise troops here. And how many are we going to raise? Not all of these, that's for sure. Okay. This guy's really spamming us for all of our children to come to his feast. But we're going to decline. So what are we waiting for here? We're waiting for our mangonels and onagers. That's all we need. This is more than what we need. So at this point, we are going to stop gathering. And we're going to split off our onagers and our mangonels. Two and three. Four and... I missed one. Five. Okay, there we go. That should be all of them. And then we'll also split off some of these levy troops, as we did before. Honestly, all of these special soldiers should be just fine. Like, yeah, that's 30,000 troops. Disband these. These are just our special soldiers and our onagers. But look at that, 150 supply limit. Because the supply limit only counts for our troops. I feel like they should change that, in all honesty. That is not something that should exist, in my opinion. This is insane. Time well spent. We're going to make our way up over here, see if we can fight these guys. I kind of doubt it. Actually, it looks like we might catch them. We do catch them, shockingly. And then we can head up to their capital. Yeah, I'm only interested in using the special troops right now. Yeah, sure, we're not able to replace them, but we may as well use them, right? We're going to come up to here. This looks like a good prestige attack. So we're going to walk up and siege. They're walking away. I'm not shocked by that. They also think that that looks like a nice prestige attack, I'm willing to bet. Raising up troops here. That's bold. Okay. That's what he wants to do. We're just going to walk up over here. We're at 46% right now. Yeah, I think we're just going to siege. I'm not even all that interested in fighting. Now, we are taking some attrition here. And that's okay. We're going to lose these troops eventually. We may as well use them up fully because they go away after this life. So, we may as well use them while we've got them. When we lose them, we are, of course, going to drop pretty dramatically in power. But the idea here is that we've conquered enough territory by the time we end up losing them that it doesn't matter, and the snowball is already out of control. Like, we already invaded a bit early, so <laughs> there is that. So this is going to get us up to around 70-ish percent. It's a slightly awkward path to take, for sure. We're going to make our way over and see if they'll let us catch the 1700 stack after we're done with this siege. I hope they will. We could use the bonus prestige. So yeah, 73% war score there. That'll be just fine. How long on our truce with the Kyrgyz Khanate? Actually, it's over. I'm surprised by that. Out of curiosity... 
This doesn't indicate truth length. Yeah, that doesn't indicate truth length. I'm not sure if the Mongol invasions have a lower truth le length. They may. Five year truth length is kind of long for a Mongol invasion, I'll admit. Well, we're at 73% and we should have no problem finishing up this war in the next little while. And of course, without the special soldiers, we'll be fine. We'll, we'll be able to continue expanding, just not quite at the same rate. But with access to the Mongol invasion CB, that actually does make a big difference. His troops are up here sieging this back, that's fine. We're going to be in a defensive war when we take this, aren't we? Okay. 86% war score. We're gonna bump up our speed so that we truck our way through here a little bit. Excellent. A new guest has arrived. That's fine. We're also going to head over to Narim. It is currently May, so that's helpful. Diplomacy perk available, and we're going to take Adaptive Traditions. Of course, we're going for Flexible Truces. Will this get us enough? It does indeed. So we'll enforce those demands, and as you can see here, we are immediately in a new war. Who are we against? Adorable. Okay, we're just going to head on over there as quick as we can. Of course, we do need to hand these out. So we'll go ahead and do that. As long as they're the correct religion and culture, and ideally at this point not our player heir, I'm okay with it. Although giving our player heir something so that he can build up some prestige at this point in the game is, I think, a good thing. So we'll give him that, and we'll just have to hand it out later on. So now he can build up some prestige. And then we'll hand this out as well. There we go. So we got that all taken care of. We'll go ahead and call our hunt. And we're going to take the prestige here. That was a full-on stack wipe. Wonderful. Our prestige is coming up nicely. We're going to host a feast. Welcome, friends. And... Oddly, that raid is ongoing. Okay. Yeah, somebody who's not even hostile to us. Sure. We lost a little bit of prestige there, but that's fine. We're at 90% war score here. That surprises me. I expected to be at 100 here. Oh, he has territory over here. That explains it. We're going to fight his army. There's going to be no problem with that. And we have worked our way up in the prestige. We do have too many held duchies that we will have to handle after this war. There we go. War is over. And we'll disband those troops. Now, we need to hand out duchies for sure. High Chieftain of Shoria. That belongs de jure to this gentleman. So, we'll do that. Excellent. Now, which one was the one our heir, went, our heir got? This one over here. Okay. That is Alatau. So we're going to grant that to our heir. A chiefdom of Alatau. Excellent. And now we still need to hand out a couple more duchies. So it will be this one. Let's see. There we go. And we need to hand out one more. And I think this one is the one, correct? Yeah, this is the one to hand out. That goes to Jure to this guy. Well, there we go. Fantastic. So there's those handed out. We can imprison criminals. We can ransom some, some criminals as well. well. Let's go ahead and do some ransoming. And I do want to bump up our horse archers here a bit. And yes, I'm aware that we dropped below the prestige amount that we need to declare more wars. That is because we can create more titles. 
and so we shall. We can create the Empire of Mongolia. Ah. But this is the de jure Empire of Mongolia. What we have right now is the titular Mongolian Empire. Or rather, the Mongol Empire. Yeah, this is a titular Empire title. If we were to create the Mongol Empire and Mon the Empire of Mongolia, I believe that we would have an issue. Specifically, I believe that that issue would be a succession issue. Now, we don't currently have an issue with our succession, do we? We actually do. We'd lose two kingdom titles. If we created the Empire of Mongolia, I believe he would get the de jure Empire of Mongolia. That said, the Mongol Empire is titular. I don't actually know how this will be done. Let's make a save here and do a quick experiment. So, save is made. We can revert this if necessary. What happens if we make the Empire of Mongolia here? Because... The Mongol Empire is titular with no de jure titles. We create this. And the succession actually still goes to him. Sounds good. That's fine. We'll keep that as is then. So it's not splitting them up because one is titular and one is de jure then. Assumably. So we're going to also create the Kingdom of Cacassia. And the Duchy of Alte, which we'll have to hand out. We didn't have to hand out the kingdom yet. But we'll grant this to this guy. Wonderful. There's no penalty for having all of these kingdoms. It's just that we're going to hit our vassal limit soon enough. But, I mean, 130 is a big old vassal limit. And I'm wondering... Greatest of Cons is only giving us 20. Now, that's going to go away when we die. However, the Great Khan is, I believe, tied to the Mongol Empire. So we're going to drop to 110. Interesting. So, the Kyrgyz Khanate. We could do a full-on subjugation on him, because the Mongol invasions are on kingdoms, and this is going to be split up amongst a lot of awkward little ones, like, in particular, Tuva here. I'm leaning towards just subjugating this guy. We would gain his empire title, and then just take all of this. He has 6,000 troops. Let's do it. Now, where is his capital? Over here. He has troops here. This is impassable terrain. There are hostile armies in that rally point location. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and raise troops here. Okay. So I'm going to stop gathering. We're going to head up here and raise troops here now. I thought they might try something like that. We're going to stop gathering here, and we're going to send these guys to slow siege down over here. And then these guys, they can just kind of chill here. Okay, this looks good. Yeah, they're going to actually attack us here, and we can actually get out. So we'll just do that for now. But we've got enough troops here now. We're going to send our onagers as well as our special troops. All of these guys here. They're going to come join over here. These guys, they're going to chase down this way. Excellent. We're going to head up over here and see what happens. He's running down this way. He can only run so far over here. I'm going to turn these guys around and have them come over here. We're going to catch something here. But is it the army we care about? That's the question. We'll find out in a moment. The 
And we caught all of them, actually. Great. Will this stack wipe? It may. Yep, that's a stack wipe. Okay, we're going to make our way up over here. These guys, they can start slow sieging here. These guys, they can move up to here. Looks good. Should be fine. So we are, of course, just looking to grab up as much territory as possible, and getting all of the Kyrgyz Khanate into the fold is going to be a big deal. We're growing extremely quickly right now, and that's not necessarily good for an empire's longevity. But it'll have to be fine. It'll have to do. Okay, we're going to head down over here. Excellent. These guys are our personal troops, of course. Not our event troops. We will definitely be weaker without our event troops. We also gained a lot of prestige in that last one. I'm going to bump this up to size 3 as well. No higher than that. Just size 3. That'll do. Because we do want to be able to continue to declare war after this, after all. Okay, sieges are underway. I'm surprised he's letting us catch this army, but sure. We'll start slow sieging his capital. That is, of course, a stack wipe, as expected. And we are going to come down towards the capital with our siege force. These guys, they can just slow siege up here. That'll be fine. It'll take them a while, and they'll lose troops, but these troops are replenishable. So I'm okay with that. 26% so far on this war score. Not the greatest amount, but it's fine. And we're going to hit their capital immediately after this. Oh, we gained a manipulation hook. Isn't that nice? Okay. Okay. So we're going to advance over here, and these guys, they're going to march down over here just as soon as they can, which will be about now. Excellent. This is, I believe, the raiding force defeating them. Yep, that's perfect. That's what we want. We want to fight the raiding force here. The war is actually over. We will wait until this battle's done. Bringing in reinforcements, just to make sure. All good. Okay. And that netted us a decent amount of prestige. We'll enforce our demands here. It's bugged. We'll enforce our demands here. So be it. And disband our troops. And just like that. In this episode alone, I think we've doubled in size. That's a lot. There's no doubt about it. And this is certainly not the... Uh, certainly not the best way for empire building in terms of cohesion. <laughs> we'll put it that way. But we're just trying to expand as fast as possible. And the Mongol Empire is a good way to do that. Reminder that you guys, the viewers, did vote on this being a world conquest by the Mongol Empire. So every single province that you see here, it will all, by the end date, be within the Mongol Empire. And that is going to be interesting. I mean, the fact that we are going to have a lot more vassal limit is going to be very, very convenient for that, for sure. It is, however, about time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will continue our ridiculous growth. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.